yeah students let us start with the next practical we are going to study flowers how they are adapted to different modes of pollination through when they are pollinated by different pollinating agencies this practical basically it will be asked for one mark identification the detailed explanation is given on page number 79 we are going to first see what is pollination so pollination is a process where transfer of pollen grains takes place from anther to the stigma of the flower as described as pollination now it is a very important step pollination is an important step in angiosperms or seed bearing plants camerarius in 1694 discovered this process of pollination there are two types of pollination self pollination and cross pollination cross pollination is also called as allogamy self pollination is of two types autogamy and kitenogamy xenogamy and hybridization are two types of cross pollination autogamy is transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower if the pollination is taking place from the anther to the stigma of the same flower it is autogamy if there is one plant two flowers if the transfer of the pollen grains takes place from anther to stigma of another flower but same plant it is called as gitanogamy xenogamy is transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of plant 1 to plant 2 they should be of the same species though genetically not similar they should no gametes transfer of uh, pollen grains from anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant and these plants should be of same species they can, should not they are not necessary to be of genetically similar but they should be of the same species then it is called as xenogamy hybridization takes place between two plants and these two plants may be of different species subspecies different variety so xenogamy and hybridization are types of cross pollination there are different agencies of pollination abiotic non living and biotic non uh, living agencies of pollination abiotic agencies include wind pollination anemophily water pollination hydrophily insect pollination uh, it comes under biotic agencies which is called as entomophily bird pollination is ornithophily pollination when it takes place by bats it is chiropterophily or chiropterophily pollination by ants myrmecophily pollination by snakes ophiophily pollination when takes place by snails it is called as malacophily we have studied all these in detail in our theory in practical we will take one example of wind pollination and one adaptation of insect pollination so anemophily the word anemone means wind and phili means loving so the pollination here takes place by wind flowers make adaptations they are very small they are inconspicuous they are not quite visible they do not have bright colors they do not have nectar they do not have fragrance usually flowers are unisexual and they may be monoecious plants also male flowers that is staminate flowers are more in number and they are usually situated at higher level stamens are having long filaments uh, anemophily example which we will take in lab is maize a plant of maize will be kept and you have to identify and describe that so pollen grains they are produced in large numbers to compensate with the loss anthers are exposed and versatile so anthers are produced here in the male inflorescence which is called as tassel and they are exposed and versatile versatile they are anthers are attached to the filament by only a single point at the connective such type of anthers they will swing in the air and it will help in spreading of the pollen grains pollen grains are very lightweight so that they can be travel in the air they can be transported by air smooth walled and pale yellow very very important characters long style has hairy or feathery stigma so as to trap these pollen grains which are falling uh, with the help of the air this occurs in grasses maize jowar sugarcane for our practical a maize plant will be kept either a picture or actual plant will be kept and you have to identify it that the given specimen belongs to uh, anemophilous type of adaptation it is example of maize and you have to write four to five points how they are adapted to undergo anemophily i hope you have understood next second example we will see entomophilous adaptation in salvia how it shows liver mechanism so salvia basically the flower is bilipped bilip means it has two lips this is the first lip and this is the second lip bilip bright flower it is a bisexual flower very important but it is protoandrous protoandrous androecium matures first and gynoecium matures later bivercate uh, bifurcated or divericate anther so this is the filament the connective is 
uh, having two branches upper forming the upper fertile lobe and the lower forming the lower sterile lobe and it acts as a liver mechanism now when an insect uh, enters into this flower accidentally it presses this lower sterile lobe and when it presses the lower sterile lobe the upper fertile lobe it dust pollen grains on the body of the insect as you can see in this picture and as the gynoecium is still not yet matured self pollination is avoided now this flower this insect with the dusted pollen grains on its back will visit some other flower when it visits some other flower that time the anthers have been withered and now the gynoecium is matured the stigma might have become sticky so this sticky stigma will absorb or all the pollen grains will stick to the sticky stigma and thus cross pollination takes place so a wonderful liver mechanism can be seen in salvia where divericate or bifurcated anther is present so i hope students you have understood this either a picture of salvia will be kept or so i hope students you have understood this so either a picture of salvia will be kept or uh, a picture of maize or a specimen of maize will be kept and then you have to identify what type of modification it is and you have to write four to five points about it it will be asked for one mark in your exam thank you